Hi, thank you for joining me today. It's November 22nd, 2020. And I wanted to make this video to you for you today to uh, help give you a tool to use to help transition into this new world that we are uh, trying to build, the world of love and uh, understanding and inclusivity and wholeness. So I want to start, I'm going to share my screen. Uh, this is uh, the breakdown of what an evolution archetype would be. And um, these phrases were taken, originally there was a um, graphic that came across my screen uh, a while ago, and it was titled Warrior Mindset. But the uh, phrases were all very positive. Some of them were very similar or even identical to the phrases that you'll find um, on this graphic here. The difference being that most of the phrases were not numerologically tuned to be as powerful as they could be. And so that's what I've done is I've gone through and each of these statements and the two titles at the top are all numerologically tuned to be as powerful as possible. So the single digit number that is the highest or most evolved is the number nine. And the meaning of that, let me give you briefly here, uh, the meaning of the number nine, <clears throat> humanitarianism, selflessness, highest level of change, giver, universal spiritual laws, and karma. And so <clears throat> each of these, uh, And now I've lost my, or you can see it, I'm sure, but I'm not looking at it. Hang on, let me get it in front of me again. There we go. Now I'm seeing what you're seeing as well. Um, so new world mindset is a nine. Evolution archetype is a nine. And each of these phrases, with the exception of the phrases uh, about truth, which is the line numbered nine, I put them there so they'd be easy to remember where they were. Those two phrases, it seemed impossible for me to come up with a phrase that had the word truth in it that um, was a nine. What I kept coming up with were phrases that were actually a master number of 77. And let me tell you what 77 means while we're talking about that. Uh, so 77 is master of intuition universal intelligence, curiosity, freedom, researcher, and divine wisdom. So that seemed appropriate that, um, that the two sentences about truth would be 77s. Um, and then the other thing to uh, realize is that um, I had, or the other thing to point out rather, is that um, I came up with two statements about truth for the line, um, for the lines for number nine. I stand up for truth and I am truth and light. And both of them uh, are 77. So I kept them both and I put them on the one, uh, the one line there at line nine. Now I have another graphic I'm going to show you after this. My suggestion here is that we do a meditation in the form of a repeat of these phrases. So obviously you can't close your eyes because you're reading the phrases or I'm reading them and you're repeating them. If you just listen to me and don't use the uh, graphic, then you could close your eyes if you like. I'm also going to suggest that you repeat the phrase. After I say the phrase, I'd like you if possible depending on where you're sitting and how that works for you. It would be great if you could say the phrase out loud as well. And the reason for this is because everything is conscious, 
uh, you're, you're saying it out into the field then and everything around you can pick up on and begin to tune to this frequency of high vibration. So let's get comfortable and we'll begin. And if you can't, if you're in a place where you can't say it out loud, that's fine. Um, you can just say it to yourself in your mind and that will work well uh, also. So new world mindset, evolution archetype. I am open and positive. I am in control of my reactions. I am in control of my feelings. I am smart and learn easily. I deserve happiness and peace. I believe in my life, in, I'm sorry, I believe in myself and my life. I am forever a kind, loving, and compassionate person. Hurdles and obstacles help me grow. I stand up for truth. I am truth and light. I make good choices for myself. I can choose for myself happiness and joy. I can make a difference in the world. I work deliberately for the best outcomes. I am always honest and truthful and transparent. I am grateful and thankful. Today, I am my best self for myself. Today, I am successful. It's okay if I make mistakes. I like myself for who I am. Today, I will love myself totally. Today is going to be a fabulous day. So let's talk about these for a couple of seconds here. If you felt resistance to any of these statements, that means that you have some clearing that needs to happen. And that's lovely because that's how we heal, right? That's how we become better is to identify the places that create tension within us and then to heal those things. So I can imagine a lot of you felt resistance uh, to the phrase about your feelings. I can control my feelings. And that's a tricky one because our feelings come from whatever is within us. And so it's not that we're trying to suppress them. The point of that statement is by being an awakened human, by being aware that your feelings are indicators for you it allows you 
to take control of your life in a way that you've never had before. That's why the line right before that, I am in control of my reactions, they go hand in hand. It's about being mindful and being aware. That's what those uh, statements are about. Not trying to pervert or stop your feelings from happening. So if you'd like support on that, uh, feel free to reach out to me. Um, now what I would like to do is share a different graphic with you. And this is where after we make our declarations, we move into, uh, hang on, that is not the, here we go. Oh, you're seeing it, but I wasn't seeing it. There we go. Okay. So now as an evolution archetype, we can say our evolutionary prayers. And again, uh, this should be done verbally if possible so that the whole universe can hear. But if not, you can, uh, you can say them, repeat them quietly to yourselves in your mind and that, that will work well as a, a silent prayer. There's more power to it if you can give it voice. So now what we're going to do is uh, you've basically tuned your being to a high frequency. And now what we're going to do is we're going to pray. And when we pray, everything listens. Because consciousness is everywhere. When we are praying, everything is listening to our prayers. And the universe will do absolutely everything it can to make those prayers come true. So it's really careful what you pray for. We hear that saying a lot, be careful what you pray for, careful what you ask for. Um, so in, in this regard, we have taken great care with what we've asked for. Again, each of these phrases is fine tuned. And the thing about the phrase evolutionary prayers is that it is the highest uh, master number that we have. So it's a 99. And the 99 means master of universal perfection, sees the big picture, vision, world improvement, and universal love. So of course, uh, it's perfectly fitting that uh, our evolutionary prayers would be a 99. So again, we're going to go through these and uh, I suggest if you can, uh, that you repeat them after me. I pray all beings achieve peace in their hearts. I pray for each being on earth to find their wholeness and worth. I pray that each being awakens to their full potential. I pray for humanity's enlightenment. I pray for the enlightenment of all. I pray for the awakening of all beings on planet Earth. I pray for all beings a healing and the deliverance from all suffering now. I pray my contributions reach the greatest need. I pray all beings experience the abundance they need for their peace.
I pray for all beings to experience the, uh, hang on, I, I lost my place. I pray for all beings of the world, the end of pain. I pray for all beings to experience joy. I pray for all beings. I pray all beings see beauty everywhere. I pray all beings have what they need to survive and thrive. I pray religions and governments find balanced boundaries. I pray for all beings to become civically engaged together. I pray for the end of all war. I pray taking care of earth becomes a way of life. I pray all beings have unlimited healthy water and air. I pray everyone has the housing they desire. I pray everyone has an abundance of healthy, natural food. I pray for everyone a basic universal income. I pray all beings are loved and kindly cared for. I pray for everyone excellent, affordable health care. I pray everyone will make abortion a woman's sovereignty. I pray all beings have all necessary medical options available to them. These prayers came about as a result of a new moon ceremony that I attended last weekend, the instructions were to visualize the world as you wanted to see it, the world you wanted to live in, without worrying about how we get there. So the first thing that I did was I wrote out the world the way I wanted to see it. So it was in uh, present tense and uh, most of the statements were, I live in a world, blah, blah, blah. And then I received the divine guidance to turn it all into a prayer. And so that's how it came about. And what's interesting to me is as I did the exercise to turn it into a prayer and fine tune it energetically with the numerological uh, emphasis of the uh, frequency of the words, 
what was interesting to me is how some of the very challenging ones, like the one about civic engagement, because I really do believe we need a world where everybody is civically engaged. We can't just have a portion of the people making the decisions for everybody. Everybody needs to be involved because the decisions are impacting everybody. So everybody needs to be involved. So how do you go about getting everybody involved? That's the question. But to be able to very easily come up with a statement about civic engagement that was a frequency of a nine, that surprised me. And I know that for many people, the uh, topic of abortion is, is very divisive. And that's another reason why it needed to be included in this new world, in the new world order, because of all things that we disagree on, the topic of abortion is the most, I think, divisive of all of them. More divisive than religions, more divisive than any government conversation you're going to have. It's a, uh, it's a complicated conversation that's been made more complicated by government and religion. And so the, the prayer is simply to make it the woman's decision and to allow the rest of us to honor the woman's decision and, and get out of this place of judgment. Right. So many people uh, think something about abortion, and that's fine. Everybody's entitled to their beliefs. But uh, when we start making laws that are, are divisive, we have a problem, right? The laws that are divisive in our country and on our planet are the ones that are the problems because we don't all agree. So the laws should be things we all agree about. We all agree not to run a stoplight or not to, you know, uh, not to, to stop when a stop sign is there. That's a law. And we all agree to that. And we agree to it because it serves everybody. So this is the place where, this is one of those places where we have a law that it's not serving everybody. It's it's some people think it's right, some people think it's wrong, and we're in disagreement about it, and yet there's laws about it. So this is where we have to push through, find our hearts, and come up with the heart-based solutions that are appropriate that we can all agree on. And so that's the intention of the prayer. So again, if there's anything in any of this that has uh, brought you on discomfort, uh, these are things for you to uh, take a look at and, and work on within yourself, because that's how we're going to heal the world. I sat in on a book club uh, today where one of the uh, members was asking, you know, how do, we, how do we solve this? We're so divided, right down the middle almost. And first of all, it's not new. We've, as if in America, we've been divided since before we were founded. And uh, we've, we've remained divided. We've managed to govern and to move forward in this country for several hundred years now with the divisions always there, just never looked at, never dealt with. And we have laws that perpetrate the division, perpetrate the the racism, the systemic racism in our country that existed before we were a country. So, um, and here's a little tidbit that you might not know. When the Nazis were deciding how they were going to come up with their rules and laws about who would be discriminated and how they used America as their 
uh, template because we were so good at it. This is a heartbreaking thing if you don't realize it. So that's why the job of, of uh, those of us who are trying to make the new world, the new world order of love and wholeness and healing, that's why we have such a big job on our hands. And so it's really important. We will heal the planet and we will heal America by healing ourselves individually. So I hope you will join me in this effort and continue on this path with me. If you'd like to reach out to me personally, you can do so at 907-351-3003. Uh, Texting is best, at least to start with. You can also message me here through YouTube, through Facebook, or also through SoundCloud. So, uh, until the next time, thank you for joining me today. Namaste and much love.